When you speak about something like a next big challenge in evolution, people are going to have different opinions about such a question. I think there are limits to evolution, but I also think that those limits have become less stringent over geological time. The mechanisms of evolution are constantly changing. The potential is amazing and terrifying. If we look back at the past, we can at least see life has run a number of experiments for us. The next step in that process should be that we should go to Mars. How do you do an experiment on a hurricane? You can't do that. Then the question simply becomes a puzzle. It's a real puzzle. I think a successful scientist has to work really hard the ability and the courage to think outside the box. To be comfortable with not knowing the answers to things. The question of why leaves are the size they are is something that has intrigued me for a long time. The natural world is fragile and we have the power and the responsibility to care for it. Every solution to a problem that's unconventional is like a beautiful piece of art, if you will. And he just turned to me and said, Simon, do you think this is of any interest? It was the most fabulous moment. We found something completely different and we have to reevaluate the whole ideas of human evolution.